Running After Routledge is part of a fundraising campaign for the island of Rapa Nui. It is also a celebration of the 1914 Manor expedition that sailed to Rapa Nui, co-led by Catherine Routledge, a lady from Darlington, which is where this story begins. Dalton. Um, we're on a really long country lane right now. I hope you can see that. I'm um, making our way down towards Borough Bridge. This is day four. Um, I'm just doing a quick update here because out of the wind I've sheltered by a big straw bale mound as you can see. Um, I'm actually taking an off-road shortcut today, haven't done that very much really but this one makes the most sense. Um, we're going from the village of Mar, which is over there down to Sprotborough, so we're outside Doncaster. Okay, quick video diary, I'm in the middle of Clumber Forest. Um, outside Sherwood Forest. I'm um, going to do a quick 360. It's really cool forest here, woods, lots of kind of deciduous trees and evergreen trees, a real mix. Um, I'm going to head down this way and um, we could obviously go to Ollerton Village if we went the other way, um, which was a potential route if we went on the road, but I'm super glad we found this. Um, it's a nice dirt trail you can see there, so it's a little bit softer for my legs. Just wanted to show you this. It's the Kaythorpe Book Exchange. Let's have a look inside. Children's books, I am Malala. Wow, what else have we got in here? Uh, something about the Olympics. The official sticker collection. Today I was followed by some sheep. <laughs> They've seriously been following me around. I'm just checking in, this is day seven. Um, I'm just on the way to Market Harbour. As you can see, the light, I don't know if you can see really, but the light is there, the sun's going down. Um, today has been a really long day. The ground is really heavy. I'm trying to stay off-road now, so I've been changing my route slightly. It has been really muddy and that's just really slowed me down. It's also really demanding for my core stabilizing muscles and my hip flexors, which are already really tired. So. I'm really struggling and my IT band is pulling on my kneecap. Um, what else is wrong? Um, yeah, blisters. I don't, I've got one tiny blister. It seems that my hips and my knees are just, just, you know, maybe my core, you know, wasn't strong enough. It's really hard and of course all those thoughts just start going through your mind. Oh, you know, but I have to just stay positive. All right, after a chilly start this morning in Market Harbour, we're now on to day eight. So we kind of turned the corner over halfway and that is pretty awesome. I feel a bit better today, although I am now walking so my left knee is just too sore to run on. So that, of course, is disappointing, but I'm still moving. So, you know, what can you do? Here I'm on the Brampton Valley Parkway, which is this awesome disused railway line that goes all the way from Market Harbour to Northampton. All right, quick video dive from inside the Kelmarsh Tunnel. Trying not to blind you. Who? sorry. Just went past a cyclist who had no lights. It was kind of funky. <laughs> Coming out back onto the Brampton Valley Way. Pretty cool section here. footpath diversion. Um, I'm in the middle of the Oxfordshire countryside. Um, oh, I'm actually going under the train line. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so a little bit of mud to navigate here. Okay, and um, after this I'll be going down to Goring. Oh, heading into the tunnel. Don't need my headlights for this one. Not like the tunnels in uh, Northamptonshire, the Cal Marsh and the Overton Tunnel and the 
Brampton Valley Pathway, which is pretty cool, but here we are, going back out into daylight. Right, so I'm going to carry on. I'm, I'm only at about mile six. I've got, probably got another 20 to go today. Yesterday was a big day, 32, had loads of support, which is great. So today is a little bit mentally harder to be out there on my own. Um, so I just kind of have to put my head down and just get on with it, you know. Um, feeling much better though, that's great. My body just seems to have adjusted, really engaging my core and really trying to stay strong and I think that's helping. Um, I have been taking a few anti-inflammatories. Um, oh, so that's helping. Bit of a ditch there. <laughs> All right, better go, bye.